Our school is a family. We're a family between our students and a family between colleagues. We have a strong academic program uh, that really meets the needs of individual needs of students. Our class sizes are smaller so that we can focus on the student at their level where they need. Our advising classes in middle school meet every day and uh, for about 15 minutes in the morning. That's where we focus on character education. Our student teacher relationships, we start early in the sixth grade and continue through until they leave for eighth grade. There's an emphasis here uh, on the arts and on the kids getting to explore um, hands-on projects and uh, really kind of get immersed in the process. We nurture the whole child, so yes, we want the academics, but we also want their characters to be developed. Um, we want them to think through their decision making and make smart choices um, that will carry them beyond the school here. We try to, try to give our students that out-of-classroom experience where they're still learning but having fun too. We've traveled to uh, the beach to Cape Lookout um, and rode a ferry uh, over to Shackleford Banks and saw the wild ponies there. You gotta learn by doing. And uh, the best classroom's outside anyhow. Uh, noise is not a factor. Uh, there's plenty to distract you so you have to pay attention a little more. Kids need to be up and moving. Uh, they don't need to be sitting all the time. You know, we like to say that we're, we're a little bit of a bubble here where the kids are kind of protected from a lot of the dangers that are out there in the world. But I think it's almost like a nursery where you put them in a greenhouse in a place where they can get strong and they can develop and they can grow and kind of come into their own a little bit. And then you can transplant them into another sort of community and watch them thrive because of the things that they've learned here. We are very proud of our science program here at High Point Friends School. Uh, Mrs. Fowler does a wonderful job with our students and providing them the hands-on experience uh, of learning the science concepts in a fun way. Science has to be hands-on. If it's not hands-on, then you truly are not doing it. You have to experience science. You can't just read about it and really grasp uh, true understanding of how everybody before you has come to these conclusions or to these theories and laws that we have without actually doing it. You have to do it. Sports are a very important part of the student's middle school experience. Uh, we offer uh, cross country, volleyball, basketball, flag football, soccer. They're very low pressure, they're co-ed. Um, it's just a great opportunity for our students to try something new that they've never worked on before. I think in sports today, um, there is a, a, a high premium set on excelling. Um, and in that, you sort of differentiate yourself and separate yourself from everyone. And that's one side of sports, and then the other side is the reality that you need one another. And I think from a social perspective of how you're going to function moving forward, uh, whether it be at the next level in high school or in college or in our community, we would much rather have children learning how to communicate with one another, how to support one another, how to utilize one another's strengths and strengthen each other's weaknesses. With the orienteering, they start by simply learning how to hold a compass learning how to find direction, learning how to move in a, in a uniform length of stride. They learn how to check behind each other and to help each other when somebody's having difficulty. They learn how to make a map. You know, they learn how to do things the way people did a long time ago. And I think it helps us better understand just how things work. Our students are prepared to go into any environment in high school and be successful. We want the relationships here to be strong. We want the culture here to be strong. But when the student leaves, we want them to have tools that they can use in any environment and succeed. And I think that's just really developed here. I don't know, I mean, it's, there's something about this place that's pretty cool. <laughs>